people. Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com. I wanted to take a minute today to show off our new Major Geeks news and software updater. Um, this is actually the second video I made today. The first one, I, I neglected to turn my microphone on and uh, spent about 20 minutes when I was editing the video trying to figure out what was wrong with my speakers until I realized I recorded it without my mic on. So let's see if this one goes a little better, huh? Uh, but anyhow, um, the new Major Geeks Updater is a portable app, we, uh, which means you don't have to install it. You just unzip it somewhere and it'll run. And, uh, you know, we'll get going and it looks something like this, right? Um, pretty cool. Uh, we've been working on it with my buddy from uh, Alamware. And if you haven't used Alamware software, you probably should take a look. I'll, I'll link to his uh, programs in the description. So what you get met with here is a screen that lays out the Major Geeks website news for the day in what we hope is a, a nice desktop application. So you don't have to go to the site every day to check something, or maybe maybe you you, you feel like you missed something and, and you can uh, check it out from a desktop application. And then when it runs, it also will put itself here in the sys tray where, you know, so if you close the window here, you can just bring it right back and then refresh the news as you, you know, maybe with your morning coffee, that'd be fantastic. And what we have is set it up so that, you know, the operating systems are over here and mark with dots. So if you're only interested in Android or if you're only interested in Mac, you can easily diagnose, you know, which, which software might be of interest to you. Um, the, this is sort of reminiscent from my old uh, computer punch cards. If anybody's ever had to, had to program with that, they can commiserate with me on uh, that bit of flashback. You know, although it does give me kind of a warm fuzzy, but man, those are the days. Huh? And uh, the other thing here is you will see news and you will also see articles. Um, and let's say, for example, you wanted to uh, check out the new version of The Dude. All you have to do is double click it. And it'll open your default browser and there you are to the page and you can read what's new or what's going on with that there. And also... Uh, with the articles and news, if you're interested in reading one of the guides or, or how to's, all right, you can uh, simply click and it will then open the website and you can read what you like. All right. So nice and easy. Hopefully, you know, hopefully it's something you like. Now, the one thing we're super proud of is we have used an internal or native program to uh, Windows 10 and 11 called Winget, which uh, will check application versions to create an installer or an updater for uh, installed software, to be more accurate, right? So all you do is you click this installed apps and then check for updates. And it, it could take a while depending on how many applications you have. Um, and, uh, you know, how quick your system is. I, I have an awful lot of applications, but it's going to read through your registry and find out if you have any programs that need updating, right? So anything that's current, you're good. Anything that needs updating is going to be marked with a, with a new and then in red. So, you know, at that point, like you can see here, <laughs> Bandicam, I haven't used that in a while, but maybe I should update it, right? So you should keep your software updated as a whole It's uh, from a security standpoint, but sometimes you, you just happen to like version four better than version seven and you want to keep it. Um, what you can do here is you can select all apps with an update, right? And that's going to select everything you need and then you click start updates and you're good to go, right? Or you can just select the one you're interested in. And let's see here. What's a, ah, what the heck? Let's see. Uh, we'll go with, want something smallish. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's go with our duck, duck, go. All right. So that browser's got 0.66 to 0.68. All right, and all I have to do is either click start updates or click uh, 
double click the program and it's going to reach out there into the world all right it's going to find the package to install it from the author's website uh it doesn't go to the major geek server it goes to the author's website and depending on how the author um programs their installer and how that works you may or may not have to interact with the update at all so but as you can see DuckDuckGo is now updated on your system and you know you can hit refresh and uh see that that'll that'll show us update and we don't have to do it again but you know again if it's a if it's a zip file from an author, if it's an MSI installer from the author, you may have to interact with it. But just like installing any program uh, that you've ever done before. And as you can see, we are good to go. So there you have it. So you can grab your news. You can have a coffee, read it. If you like it, click it. You can update, install apps. And you can do that all from your desktop. So we're pretty happy with it. We're pretty proud of it. Um, we would love to hear any input from you in the comments. So if there's something you like, don't like, want to see more of, want to see less of, um, please uh, let us know in the comments because we're we're developing it for you all. Um, so thank you very much. Hope you love it as much as we do. Until next time, geek it till the megahertz.